What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. Uh, today, we're going to be getting into uh, a trailer reaction. I was actually planning on doing another video, but funny enough, it's blocked in the UK, and I know that the people that will watch that video are likely UK viewers, so I decided to just skip past it, at least until I could find another video that's similar to it that isn't blocked. So I'm going to jump into this. This is a video that is very interesting to me because Coming to America is one of my favorite movies that I've seen. Probably one of the best Eddie Murphy movies up there with Beverly Hills Cop and, let's see, Beverly Hills Cop and Trading Places. But, yeah, for me it's like, if not number, well, for me it's number one. There are other people that might have other shows up there, maybe even movies that I didn't even list, like um, Boomerang or Harlem Nights or The Nettie Professor or something like that, but for me it's Coming to America. Now, there's a second one coming out. Now, normally, this is one of those types of movies or these the ideas that just spends its entire life as a Facebook meme and never actually goes anywhere, like last Friday. <laughs> but, um, but funny enough, this movie became a real thing. Like, it, I didn't expect it to. Like, I always heard that they were recording for it and stuff like that, but it's like, it's on Facebook. They, they say a lot of stuff on Facebook. But eventually, this got announced. Apparently, it's going to be on Amazon Prime. It's going to release uh, sometime earlier next year. I got to check and see the exact date. But I will be watching it. I don't know if I'll do a reaction to it unless you guys want me to. But I look forward to this movie for sure. Now, let's jump into it, see what it has to offer. Uh, this will be a quick video. So uh, we'll see what we can get out of the like the plot of the movie just out of the, a two-minute video. You must heed my words before I'm gone, my son. I want to hear James Earl Jones ever say those words again. You will be king. But the throne must pass to a male heir. Hakim, it appears you have a son. He must be found. Prepare the royal chant. We are going back to America. Oh, hell no, your majesty. Come on. I'm back. Say it again. I feel right in this mother... I feel good in this mother... My whole hood in this mother... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm the king of this shop. That's funny in hell. Well, well. They should be dead. Say it again. <laughs> Oh my god, Randy Watson, he's back. <laughs> it is so good to see you. Well, Abby, damn, look who done come up in here. Hey, it's Kunta Kinte and Ebola. The famine and blood. Damn. Man. Nelson Mandela and Winnie. Those hungry babies with the flies on the face. Hey, oh, oh my damn. Oh, 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 that's too much now. You stepped over the line now. We were talking that kind of shit about the hungry babies. You're going to get out of my chair. Politically incorrect. So, what you doing back here, Hotel Rwanda? <laughs> <laughs> Babies weren't killed during the Rwandan genocide? Or March 5th. This enchantment looks interesting. I probably should check it out from the makers of uh, Futurama, right? Um, yeah, this looks good. I, <laughs> I'm going to check it. I'm not sure if it's going to be as uh, critically acclaimed as the original one. Was the original critically acclaimed? I know it's appreciated now, but I don't know how it was received. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be rated as highly as that one was, but it still looks like a movie that would be interesting to me. It has a lot of characters and references that are callbacks to things that I loved. Like, they brought Randy Watson back. <laughs> um, the funny enough, Randy Watson, he sings a rendition of um, The Greatest Love of All by Whitney Houston. But because of the way he sung it, and because that was the first time I heard that song when it, like when I first saw it, I assumed that was how it was always sung. <laughs> so like it wasn't until much later that I realized that Whitney Houston sung that song. So maybe I have to do a reaction to the music video because I haven't actually seen that one at all, and I've heard like snippets of like the actual song, so I know that it's a lot better than what I always assumed it was. But um, yeah, maybe I'm gonna have to check that out sometime. Uh, I mean, Eddie Murphy's always great. 
uh, Arsenio Hall is great as well. Um, all of y'all, y'all know that Arsenio Hall was probably most famous for his TV show back in the day. He did have another TV show that was brought back for a while. Uh, I believe it was like around 2015, 2014, some, somewhere like that. And it, it must have got canceled because I haven't heard from it or seen from it again. But I wonder what happened with it. Like, was it just a ratings thing or like, did he just choose not to want to continue it? Because I don't know. I mean, back in the day, the Arsenio Hall show had some of the best guests ever. Like, the the, 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 the people that showed up for that uh, show back then was, was amazing. Maybe this time they just wasn't able to get as good of guests. But either way, I look forward to seeing this. I will be watching it when it comes out. Um, funny enough, all these movies are starting to get released on streaming services. Uh, whereas back in the day, they probably would have been released in theaters. Um, I don't know what this means for the movie industry as far as like theaters are concerned uh like i know hbo max has like a deal with like all these different movies uh like wonder woman uh 1984 and that's supposed to come out in theaters and get released on hbo plus at the same time so it really has me wondering like is this the is this like the end of theaters the way we know them like i'm starting to think like because of deals like this, theaters are going to become like a a novelty. Like people are only going to go to it to get the theater experience, not to actually watch movies. And then, I don't know. And then you got VR on top of that. VR has like different apps that will allow you to actually sit in a theater and watch movies. Like I know Big Screen does it. Uh, the Netflix app has an interesting thing where you're like sitting in a, a virtual living room watching a movie on like a big screen TV. And I don't know. <laughs> the better technology gets, the worse off it becomes for some of these uh, retail places. But I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comment section about this. Let me know what you think about this trailer. Let me know what you think about the original coming to America and what it means to you. Let me know what you think about Eddie Murphy and if you want to talk about his film, uh, filmology. If you want to talk about... Uh, I mean, I know people say like Eddie Murphy didn't make a lot of great movies in like the the late 90s, early 2000s, despite the fact they ignore some of his voiceover uh, films. And also, I think part of it is because he kind of moved away from some of the uh, more raunchier material he would have done in the past. Uh, and also, nowadays, he probably can't get away with a lot of the stuff that he joked about back in the day. Like I remember, he had an he had an entire like segment on uh, <laughs> on his delirious special, just dedicated to like gay people, and I know that shit would not fly nowadays. <laughs> I'm actually surprised nobody's tried to cancel Eddie Murphy at this point, because you know it's you know somebody's tried to do it at least, but I'm surprised it hasn't caught on. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing this, and I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comment section. Until then, I'm gonna give you the deuces. I'm Devon Da Vinci. Hopefully you've been enlightened, and I am signing out. Deuces.